Brandy, for that question, we have to remember that we have a formula n minus 2 times 180 degrees. And remember the n is the, for the number of sides. This tells us how many degrees there are in each polygon. So, for example, we have a triangle here. So that means there's three sides, minus 2 times 180. So I'd have 1 times 180. So we know that the triangle interior angles have a sum of 180 degrees. I do the same thing for my pentagon, which is the other shape here. 5 minus 2 times 180. We get 3 times 180 and I end up that I know that it is 540 degrees the total I also know I have a right angle here which is 90 degrees the only angle that I'm missing is this angle here and what's great about this problem is that this angle AGB and the angle CDF is that they are congruent meaning that they're exactly the same because of what's known as remember vertical angles theorem so those are the same now I can find out what AGB is because I know this triangle is 180 so I would just take that 180 and I'm just going to subtract from that the 50.9 and the 33.2 so once I do this I'm going to end up with what angle AGB is equal to. And so once I know what angle AGB is equal to, then I also know that angle CGF is the same exact thing. So if I subtract these, I'm going to get, let's see, I end up with 95.9 so that's this angle here. That means that this angle is also 95.9. So now I could take the four angles that I know in this pentagon and just subtract those from 540 to figure out what x is equal to.